Hello and welcome to Vitush Academy for another session about Python in Excel. Uh, the last time I was talking about linear regression, so this time I'm going to build a bit on it and we'll continue showing how to display generally the whole data frame inside Excel. So let's start. For example, as a start, I'll merge this one into something tinier right here so it's visible and another thing i'm going to do is to reduce this a bit so it is not so visible okay not so much not so many okay something uh, something like this was okay and i'll be mainly working in this part of the table so let's see first i'll press the magic control out shift and p so i'll enter python and I'll see what can we do with cars df. This one, control enter. It's busy. It's working. Calculating formula. Show calculating steps. Evaluate. Busy. Yeah, whatever. It's kind of problematic. It's not doing anything because here we have asked for a Python object. You actually need some Excel value. Tada! That's the Excel value. What we just did, as you can probably see, is we just did this thing here and we got the whole filtered uh, cars df. It's not the same table. We can even continue filtering it. For example, what we can say is, uh, yeah, cars df. I mean, I was having before from the previous something like this let's see options inclusive let's only add one year and it would be 2015 and options inclusive something like this our year is actually in options inclusive yeah I mean dealer and automatic I'll reduce them Let's give it a try and you see now we only have a data frame where our year is 2015. Yes, what further can we do? Let's think about it. Uh, as far as this is a data frame, we can do the following. We can say, hey, data frame, we are only interested in in the column cars name and only in the first five values of it. So we can say cars df, for example, here, car name, and we only want the first five. Okay, let's write zero to five. And that's it. One, two, three, four, five. If I write if I remove the zero, then it would be perfect. Yeah. Can I do a small trick? Can I write dot car name? Sometimes I can, sometimes I cannot. This time I can. I really forget about all the rules about it, but in general, there are rules. When can you use the dot and when you should use the parentheses? Uh, let's do something else. Let's. Uh, Let's add everything from 50 up to the end. And we see that it's empty. Why? That's the question. Well, in order to add something up to the 50, we should have values there. And most probably our data frame is not with 50. So what we can do here is just ask for the count. Control enter. And you see the count is 46. So what we can do is carsdf dot uh, what did I ask for car name and then asking for the last five which would be forty one up to the end and of course I have to end it with this and these are the last five that's pretty good I would say yeah. And we can also ask, hey, how many are the last five? For example, doing like this count. 
and the last five are five. And for example, if we use it like this, after the twelfth, it will see sixteen. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Uh, let's continue. What if you want to see the columns that are displayed? The name of the columns would be CarsDF columns, and you'll see all the columns in the data frame. Car name, year, price, and everything. Yeah. See, if we split like Python object like this, then we'll simply see index, and then we'll see other things like, yeah, unknown a bit. Okay, what will happen if we remove the columns? We'll see data frame, and here we can see the data like this. Fortunately, we cannot scroll inside. That's feature from Anaconda, but you will see a lot of additional information. And we can see Python string, Python type. Yeah. Not bad. Uh, Python type name. You see M2Py name, M2Py type, array preview, and this beauty here, array preview. It only gives you the first five and the last five when applicable. If not, it would give you everything. Let's just delete it and continue. We were interested in the Excel values. You see, you ask for Excel values and you get it. Cars DF. I'm not sure why this is like this, but probably that's the thing. That's the reason why it wasn't there. Uh, okay. So columns I showed you. I showed, for example, that we can get the unique car names. How can we do it? Oh, it's a data frame. So we common for the data frame is unique let's see what will happen busy of course it's busy then python data frame has no object unique of course it doesn't have object unique should be asking what exactly should be unique yeah this one that's great and now let's uh let's see how many of these unique are actually Present, for example, how many of the CS of the S cross of the Wagoner are unique? Uh, how many of the unique values are present in the data frame? So, in order to see, we have to say cardf dot card name dot value count value counts. Let's see. And we see some additional information, which is actually great. Yeah. Uh, in order to see everything, I mean, you're probably seeing that we have some S X4, but it's not present because we're working with just with a part of it. If we want the whole thing, uh, then most probably we should do something like this thing. Cars df equals um, what was it excel then the cars data set claiming all mm -hmm. removing like this and then you see it automatically understood what i'm doing and then of course header is true just To avoid some misunderstanding and you'll see all the unique stuff here which is quite of okay and they are even sorted city is the biggest one whatever cities then google Altis in our data set which is okay uh, what if we actually want to see something else what if we want to see normalized true let's see what this is And this is actually some kind of a strange percentage saying how many of the values are there. Okay, what if I can I format this? No, obviously I cannot. Mm, percentage. Yeah, what can we do? We can probably format the data frame and the row, which should be okay actually let's give it a try 
And actually, after some research, it turns out that the easiest way is simply to multiply by 100. And then to round to 2. Yeah, sometimes, as the friends from Germany like to say, vinegar is mad, which means less is more. Yeah, so this is how it looks. And as the last thing that I'm going to do actually would be, I would try to put uh, the percentage and the value. So let's see how this is going to happen. Yeah, sorry. Um, that's a really good, interesting thing. So I'm interested in the fuel type counts. But not fuel type, but um, car name counts. Car name counts. And this is equal cars df dot car name. Mm -hmm. Value counts. So I have the first one and the second one. It's pretty much as this first one, but with true here for normalize. I'm just going to comment on this one. Comment on this one. Comment on this one. Uh, car name counts percentage, I'll call it. And let's make new cars DF, which would be mm -hmm. probably there is even an easier way. But I don't know it. So it should be this one. I know I'm not the fastest thumb typer that you know uh, car name counts mm -hmm. and of course I forgot here something and then we'll have percentages let's name our columns with big ones percentages and the percentages and it's a dictionary so like this the percentages would be car name percentage control enter does it work yes do we like it no but we can try times 100 dot round two And of course, it doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Most probably because of this. Tada! Impossible. Now it works. So yeah, value counts two thousand six hundred twenty-six. Okay. I think this is something to do with Excel. Uh, it's not a percentage, it should be general. Yeah, great. So yeah, this is how my data set works, looks. For example, the value counts, the percentages, everything looks perfect. And if I'm not into like the car name, but I'm into the transmission, I can really easily change it mm. from here and then from here and from yeah let's quickly take a look how the transmission or a fuel type let's take a look at the fuel type will look like fuel type and then fuel type here control enter busy and that's it 
283 are with petrol in our data set, 60 are with diesel, which is 20%, and only two are with gas. So perfect, great. Thank you for watching. I hope you really enjoy it. And stay happy. That's all for me. Subscribe and like if you feel like it. Thanks. Goodbye.